Uh, good afternoon once again. Today is Monday, the 4th of January, 2021, and this is the uh, English language summary of the daily press briefing uh, here at the COVID situation, the Center for COVID Situation Administration, or CCSA. Of course, we've uh, come back from the long uh, New Year uh, holiday, but uh, many of you uh, here in Thailand, in both the public and private sectors, perhaps we are starting the work from home uh, scheme right now, which is very good. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity first to thank all the uh, Thai citizens as well as our foreign friends, uh, those viewing uh, this broadcast uh, in Thailand and from around uh, the world through social media abroad for your understanding of the situation and most importantly your kind cooperation in this matter to ensure the safety of our family and friends, the continued safety uh, during these trying times. So aside from the uh, CCSA meeting that we had uh, this morning, we, all, we will also be having a general uh, CCSA meeting uh, later this, this afternoon, which will be chaired by the Prime Minister, and I'll be talking about, about that later. Uh, the highlight of which is, of course, that uh, today the Prime Minister signed uh, an order which uh, is effective, has, been, has, be, has become effective uh, today, on the 4th of January at 6 a.m. concerning 28 provinces and uh, eight measures. And I'll go into that uh, a bit later. But first, moving on to the number of cases uh, that we have uh, for today, the general situation. Uh, we have a, a template uh, for you uh, every day for these cases. So for today, we have recorded new confirmed cases, 745 new confirmed cases making the cumulative number of cases 8,439. Out of this 745 cases, 577 cases are from active case finding, uh, specifically in Samut Sakon province. 152 cases are from local transmission, meaning in other provinces around the country. And uh, 16 cases from st within state quarantine, meaning those who have traveled back on repatriation flights those who have traveled back uh, on uh, various uh, uh, visa schemes, including uh, tourist uh, schemes. So, so these are 16 cases found already in state quarantine. The number of recoveries, uh, those who were discharged already, uh, the new date for number for, for yesterday, recorded today, is 15 persons, making the cumulative number of recoveries 4,352. It's of great sorrow that we have to announce one new fatality in Thailand, making the total number of fatalities 65. This one new uh, death is a Thai national, 56 years of age from Bangkok, uh, who had had uh, pre-existing health conditions as well and succumbed to COVID. Just some observations as <coughs> recapped by the spokesperson. One is that uh, some provinces are new on the list of provinces being affected. Now there are up to 54 provinces across the country with uh, people uh, being infected with COVID. Um, in some provinces, however, there might be a small number, for example, like one or two cases, but those provinces are counted likewise to be in the list of uh, 54 provinces. So one new province in, in that, uh, as an example, is Prachuop Kirikan, where uh, previously, uh, it was not included because there was no, there were no cases. Now, Prachuop Kirikan has one case in that province. The spokesperson also displayed uh, various charts today about the time progression since the 18th of December until today, over two weeks. Uh, of course, uh, all the infections and all the results that we see are uh, a, a result of what happened 14 days prior. So it's very important to abide by all the measures strictly so that in the future, 14 days from now, we will not see any further surge. The number that we have today is quite uh, high. It's get, we're getting high uh, on a daily basis. As you've noticed, 200 per day to 300. Uh, now it's 745 for today. So hoping for the best. So I'll be moving on to the disease control measures in the highly controlled areas and the 28 provinces that I uh, mentioned. So the CCSA uh, officially announced and declared and signed by the Prime Minister designating 28 provinces 
as highly controlled areas where certain activities are restricted or limited. These 28 provinces are Bangkok and the surrounding provinces, provinces in the central and eastern part of Thailand, as well as provinces in the western border from Tak province down to Ranong. The highly controlled areas are the uh, red color zones as you can see on the uh, map, on the infographic on screen right now, and some were asking about the list of provinces in, in English, which, is actually been, which has actually been um, reported in the media, but you'll see it again here right now on, on screen. Uh, the provinces uh, that are now designated as highly controlled area, or as you recall, level, level one uh, province, provinces. It should be noted, uh, however, that while there are no uh, so-called green color zones or level four color zones left uh, on the map, this does not in any way signify uh, a very uh, across the board widespread uh, infection. The provinces classified as belonging to the, the ones as seen in orange or level two zones are so designated to serve as uh, buffer zones, buffer zones of the 28 uh, provinces in level one or in uh, color red, as you see. Some provinces have a low number, a low number of COVID infections, uh, but were included uh, in the controlled area, in the one in orange, because their bordering provinces have high number of uh, cases. As a precaution, uh, in, uh, the designation therefore is for, is for that reason. So the level two or, or orange colored zone is therefore extended to ensure the efficiency of containing uh, the pandemic. So as I mentioned uh, later this afternoon at uh, 2.30 p.m., the prime minister will chair the general CCSA meeting to go through the eight measures uh, already announced by the CCSA. These measures are, have been effective since 6 a.m. this morning. And the discussion later this afternoon will be to discuss on the uh, implementation and to recap the eight important measures that are in place already today. So the gist of the eight measures you can see on screen in the infographic in English, uh, which is available also on the uh, Public Relations Department website. And I'll go through that for, for clarity, for purposes of clarity. Firstly, for the pro prohibition of the use of buildings which are considered to be at high risks of disease transmission, including educational institutions of all kinds, in all the 28 level one uh, highly controlled zones. Number two, prohibition on organizing activities that pose as a risk to disease control in order to avoid large public gatherings unless organized by competent authorities or those that have been duly approved by authorities. Number three, provincial governors are authorized to close venues that are considered to be high risk of disease transmission in the level one zone provinces. Number four, regarding measures for restaurants, the CCSA encourages restaurants and eateries to provide takeaway service and if necessary, adhere to strict social distancing measures for dine-in customers. You might recall that earlier this year, that was an order to uh, prohibit dine-in uh, customers and it had to be uh, more of a deliver and takeaway. But for this time, uh, we encourage that uh, in terms of takeaway service. And in areas where there are a high number of infections, the provincial governors may decree that restaurants shall provide only takeaway options, while the sale of consumption of alcoholic beverages at restaurants remain prohibited. Moreover, shopping malls and supermarkets operating hours may operate at normal business hours or as decreed by provincial governors in their respective provinces. Now, just a little bit on number four, which is very important. So as a, an overarching uh, policy, we encourage uh, restaurants to provide uh, takeaway service. However, each province, provincial governor or the Bangkok governor uh, can uh, announce uh, that restaurants have to be for uh, uh, takeaway, for delivery uh, services only. And as you can see, uh, Bangkok Metropolitan Administration already announced uh, some of these measures. BMA already announced that uh, shopping malls 
would have to be uh, would have to have a limited uh, operating hours, meaning that they have to close at 9 9 p.m. So this is the general overarching uh, policy for uh, restaurants, and please stay tuned for each uh, province's announcements uh, regarding restaurants. However, the general picture is that encouraging uh, restaurants to provide takeaway uh, service. Number five is that provincial governors are authorized to open or close venues in addition to the ones already mentioned. Number six, interprovincial travel is only advisable on urgent matters. As the recent case of infection shows a public van driver infecting half of his passengers in, in his vehicle, just as a, an example. Number seven, the CCSA asks for the cooperation from the general public to work from home, uh, have uh, staggered working time or switch teams at the office and flexible working hours to avoid large gatherings at workplaces. This also includes uh, organizations and companies in the private sector as well. Number eight, uh, the committee uh, set up to assess the restrictions, the relaxing of restrictions, will assess the situation and send proposals for approval for the Prime Minister to either relax or increase, heighten the restrictions as, as appropriate. So, so the CCSA asks for your cooperation to follow the uh, uh, the measures mentioned to contain uh, COVID and help save lives. The measures uh, I just mentioned are subject to uh, uh, consideration by the CCSA and of course by each provincial administration according to the situation. And of course later this afternoon there will also be discussions about the extension of the emergency uh, decree which uh, the former announcement has it as being effective until the middle of January. Uh, the consideration might extend that until uh, next month. So just some additional points. So in terms of uh, following information from the CCSA, aside from the English language briefing that we have here, you can also follow the uh, updates on COVID from the websites available. For example, the websites of the Department of Disease Control uh, the Tourism Authority of uh, Thailand uh, newsroom, and you have the website up there on, on the screen, uh, tatnews.org, which interestingly, the tatnews.org website also has a uh, compilation of the various policies, the different policies of each province uh, in English there as well. Aside from TAT newsroom, there's also the uh, interior Ministry, moicovid.com, which likewise has a, 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 a compendium of the policy of each uh, individual province. Uh, some are in English language, most is in Thai for the MOI one. For example, the one about uh, Phuket, they have that in English in the moicovid.com. But in the TAT newsroom, it's all in, in English. Uh, the, as well as the Twitter uh, accounts of the National News Bureau of Thailand, you can see that on screen at NBT World News and the Thai Public Government Public Relations Department or PRD uh, Thailand. So before I conclude uh, my the briefing today, I'd like to remind all of you about the acronym that we remind everyone quite often, almost every day, DMHTT, distancing, mask wearing, hand washing, testing, meaning temperature checks, and the Tai Shana and Ma Shana application uh, usage. Uh, this practice, of course, can help to reduce the risk and prevent uh, the further spread of COVID and help of overcome this challenge together. Of course, today we see a high, a new high, another new high, 745 um, uh, cases. And the spokesperson ended with uh, by saying that in any crisis, in any uh, pandemic that you see in this world. Of course, it affects our everyday life. It affects our, our emotions. It makes people uh, blame each other, point fingers, or uh, feel agitated, uh, feel, feel stressed, feel, feel de depressed uh, in, in general. So that is something that we have seen during this, this pandemic. But in Thailand, it's something that we hope uh, will not uh, expand. We hope that we will overcome the COVID pandemic as one society 
as one uh, caring society, and as the spokesperson mentioned, uh, the infection may cause harm to the physical health, but of course our mental health and uh, our, our hearts, of course, uh, are, are together as, as one. So let's stay together, let's stay strong as one, and continue to abide by all the measures, understand each other if you have any questions, any inquiries, any, any, even any critical uh, uh, points that you have, we, we welcome that. We welcome that because we want to improve. We're all in a learning process. It is, it's a test for Thailand. It's a, it's a test for the whole world. And we welcome any uh, suggestions and comments that you have. You can send that in to the various uh, social media outlets, inboxes uh, that, that we have, and uh, we will be able to address uh, your questions uh, in one way or another, either on air or off air or in any way possible. And we appreciate very much uh, all your help and suggestions. So thank you very much for your attention today, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Sorry, Krap. Krap, Krap, Pakun, Krap, Tan, Natapanu,